See? Even the camera doesn't want to work back today. Really? Ah, yeah, still probably my friend. I mean, he's a naturally bad friend. He's a decent friend. When you least suspect it, people truly show who they are. Dean did. Right? Dean reacted all the ways that I thought he was going to. Just a few, huh? But he did. He reacted exactly the way I predicted he would. I thought he would. Yeah, I think he would. This is why it's terrible. Because our jar, we're going to be right. Now that's a sad commentary on the state of affairs we have today in America. Yes, it is. Because not too long ago, I mean, you know, just probably 10 or 15 years ago, right, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even think these things about people automatically. Whoa, whoa, what do we got here? Uh, no, that's not even a decent piece of wire, but pick it up anyway. See, today we're doing a lot of things. Scrap hunting is one of them. All right, but anyways, to get back to what I'm saying, it's really a sad thing that we have expectations of people being bad, and people treating us bad, and people doing do bad things to us. All right, because down here in the street, there's just a human being. These people are weak. They will. They do all the time. All right? And it turns people. Because for the most part, you know what I'm saying, people that end up here on the streets, they're good, you know, they're good, generous souls. For the most part, they are. Right? But these streets turn you. They turn you into something that you don't even recognize. Right? Watch out, you watch out, this is Buckeye. Buckeye is very dangerous. Holy crap! Go, go, go! Right? And then, when you least suspect it, somebody comes along and does something even worse to you. Right? They befriend you. Right? They get under your skin. They make it a point, right, to make you care for them, care about them. Right? Care about what their life is. Try to want to help them. And then when your back is turned, well, hell, sometimes when you're looking right at them, right? They take everything you have. Everything is with value. Everything you support to you, they go out of their way to try to take away what it is that you do just because they're jealous, because they can't do anything. But what they don't realize is, is that if they use those skills for just a little bit of good, not only would they eat every day and have nice things, they wouldn't be homeless. For somebody like me, I wouldn't be homeless because they keep taking it away from me. Just some thoughts. You know, I've been making this video for a week now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna the railing. See? <laughs> Bicycles are dangerous. I think I'd be top 10 safety tips for riding a bicycle fast. How's that? Anyway, this is me, Brian. Hey, I'm trying it off this time. Good morning, you guys. Oh, we're going this way. Right. But this one thought. Good morning! Right. I don't know who said it. Uh, I read it somewhere or I thought it up myself. I don't know where it was. Right. But my friend Gregory Sadler, the doctor, the PhD in philosophy guy. Right? He's a pretty cool guy. Yeah, check out his channel, Gregory B. Sadler. Right? Philosophy. He's uh, really big on Heigl. He likes it. I started reading a little bit of it. You know, Mr. Heigl, he made a lot of sense in a sort of offhanded way. You know, unlike Nietzsche. Nietzsche was very direct, very forward, and, you know, pretty crazy. Uh, but anyways, it went like this. The next time you find yourself in a situation that's out of control, 
Right? You just wake up that one day and nothing that you touched worked right. Anything that you ever did, right, came out right. Or somebody was putting some pressure and some stress on you, right, that just didn't make you feel right. Well, the best thing to do in a situation like this is to just let it go. Just leave it alone. Because the harder you try to control it, the farther out of control it gets. You see, because control is a tenuous thing. Right, so the only solution is just leave it alone. Because you know, if you leave it to the universe, if you leave it to the three sisters of Noah and the fates, if you leave it to just whatever it is, right, it's going to work its way out. It's going to. It has to. That's one of the inevitable laws of the universe. What goes up comes down, what goes around comes back. Just because it's the end of the day doesn't mean it's the beginning of the night. Alright, so. Maybe, just maybe. That's the way it was supposed to be. It's me, Brian. Old homeless guy. Almost at the place. Thank you.